Welcome back to my channel. Glad you can join me. Well, for me in southeast Queensland and Australia, the Milky Way season is finally arrived. We've been waiting a long time since October last year, but I've got to get up about 1:30 a.m. and then drive away from the city lights to find a place to photograph the Milky Way because. At the start of the season, this is what happens. The Milky Way rises just before daybreak. So as the weeks and months progress into the year, the Milky Way will rise earlier and earlier in Australia. I don't know about where you live, but here in Australia, about the best time is July, August. We don't have to wait too long for the Milky Way core to come up in the sky. So today I want to show you how easy it is to use the app PhotoPills to find the Milky Way in our night sky using night AR and also how to plan your trip using the planner function in PhotoPills. Now this is where quite a few people message me and say, well, I know how to use night AR. When I'm out there, I can just put it up there and I've got like an augmented reality. I can just see the Milky Way, let's say behind this big tree. But what happens if you're just out and about during the daytime or you're in a beautiful spot like this nice tree here at Lake Mugra. Now I've been there many times and I've looked at this tree and I'm going like, wow, wouldn't the Milky Way look nice if it was behind this tree? Does it really line up behind this tree at any given time of the year? Today, this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how we can use night AR during the daytime to see where the Milky Way is going to be because let's say you want to go out to this tree at the moment. Why would you want to wait until 2 a.m. to photograph the tree when you could just be relaxing in your motel room, have a few hours sleep, set the alarm for 1 a.m., drive out there, spend an hour photographing the Milky Way and then coming home. But also for the planner function, let's say you've been there before and you go like, this tree would look nice, but I don't want to drive all the way out there and use the night AR function to see where the Milky Way is going to be. Well, this is where the planner app comes into its own because you can plan when you want to go out there. But remember, the moon is not our friend. If it is any more than about 40% brightness, you're going to find hard photographing the Milky Way. So I prefer to go out there when there's no moon or when the moon is below 20% so I can photograph the Milky Way in all its beauty. So first off, let's see what night AR looks like for those who've never used photo pills. So now I've got my phone and my tablet here to help me. So we hit night AR there. Look at that. 3.19 a.m. We have a perfect photo of the Milky Way. Now that orange dot that you see, that is the core of the Milky Way. So that's where there's the most stars and the most beautiful part of the Milky Way. That is what every astrophotographer likes photographing. It is just so intense. Why would I want to sit out there from sunset to three o'clock in the morning? I could go back to my motel room or if I'm camping, I can have a snooze till about 1.30 a.m., get up, have a coffee, line up and say, okay, well, this is where I want to be. And I just wait for until the Milky Way is in its position. 3.20 a.m., take some photos for about half an hour and maybe even get some like twilight images just before the sun comes up, then go back and have another sleep. I haven't wasted my night and I've gone home with some beautiful photos. But what happens if the tree faces in the wrong direction? It's showing us here, it's east. But this is because I've put this picture here facing east. In reality, the only time that I can photograph this tree with the Milky Way behind it is around September when the Milky Way is behind me at the moment because I'm facing east, behind me is west. And in reality, this is only possible to photograph this tree later on in the year, in September. I'm just using this as an example to show you how easy it is. I've been there a few times. Let's say I want to plan a trip to go out there to photograph this beautiful tree when the Milky Way will be facing west. This is where the Planner app comes in. So before we use the Planner app, I've looked in late September, on the 24th of September, which is a sad day, the moon is only at around 3%. Perfect time to photograph the Milky Way. So now let's click on Planner app. And here we go. You can see right now it's 8 o'clock at today's date, 10th of February. What you're looking at here now, we have a gray line, we have a yellow line, we have a blue line, 
we have an orange line, and then we have this great big white line from top to bottom on a slight angle. Now, the yellow and the red, well, the yellow and the orange is your sunrise and sunset. The blue is your moon. What we're looking for is this white line that's crossing here, and where you see that gray line going from the middle towards the bottom right, this is when the Milky Way will be visible in our night sky. And if I move along here from 8 o'clock and you can see it's moving, you can see that white line moving along and look, you can see the Milky Way is starting to come up until this time here. Anything on the left of that grey line underneath it is not visible to me at the moment because this is below the horizon. Now things are visible. You can see it's past the grey line there. But look at the time, nearly 2.30 a.m. If I keep scrolling, look at that. It's beautiful, but then watch. Can you see now that it's changed? I'll go back a little bit. You can see everything looks like it's dark. But now if I come up a little bit more, can you see it's changed color? This is showing we're in that twilight phase. And you can see now that that line, the arc, what you're seeing is that arc there of the Milky Way. You can see all the way from the left, it's just tiny little dot, 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 dots. And then it just gets bigger because the tiny little dots, remember the Milky Way is a circle. We can only see half of it anything that's above the horizon. The rest of it is sitting underneath the horizon. What we're interested in is those big circles because that's where the core of the Milky Way is. So if I just go back a little bit here, look at that. We don't have much of the Milky Way visible in our sky at the moment. This is today, 10th of February. But we're saying we want the 24th of September. So here, where we show the time here, 3.21 a.m., I click on that. And look, it pops up at screen, date and time. We click OK for now, or we change the date. So I come up here and say, I want to change the date. Now remember, 24th of September, so we go February, March, May, June, July, August, September, and we want 24th, and I'll set the time for around sunset, which is around 6 p.m. We'll start 6 p.m. Now you can choose any time you want. All this means is that when we click OK now, it'll automatically go to 24th of September, 6 p.m. So we click OK, OK. Now look, look at that. We're just in that twilight phase. The sun's already gone down. We call it the blue hour in photography because we have sunset. Anything past sunset, once the sun's gone down until it's pitch black, we call that the blue hour. And look at that. Now look, we can see the sun rise, sunset has changed. We can't see that line yet. Now we start moving it. There we go. So now look, in February, the line was running top to bottom, like on this angle here. Now the line is opposite and look at the Milky Way. It's not facing east. Like I said, now it's facing west. Perfect for us to photograph this tree. And this little spot here that I've pinpointed, if I zoom in, I've pinpointed this spot. I've marked it with a pin, that red pin there, right on the tree. If you are going someplace, or even if you're there, you can say, okay, well, there's this big tree, or there's this mountain that I want the Milky Way behind it, and you can drop the pin on the mountain or on the tree, or on any particular subject that you see out there, like an old shed or whatever, 7 p.m. It's still quite high. So you're going to get a beautiful shot of the Milky Way crossing that tree. It's going to be fabulous. And then after that shot, you go like, well, what happens if I get one lower down? Maybe like the background mountains there. Maybe if I just get the Milky Way behind the mountain range with this tree as well, could look beautiful. This is where the planner comes in. How long do we have to wait? Well, we're at 7 p.m. Let's just keep scrolling and look. Can you see now that the Milky Way is flattening? So when you're seeing it, it's just flattening like that. It's setting. It's nearly at the horizon. Look, that's it. It's going, it's going. And you see that white line just flicked? That's it. It's disappeared. So around midnight, the Milky Way is going to be very close to the horizon. So you can say, okay, well, at 7 p.m., I'm going to get some beautiful shots with the Milky Way high up in the sky, crossing this tree. And then around 10, 11 p.m., I can reframe my shot. I can use the tree if I want, or I can just reframe to get the mountain ranges and to get the Milky Way. Just over the mountain range could look a totally different shot. So you can go home with 
two totally different images. This is how easy the Planner app is to use. So you've seen me use it now, but I want to show you how easy it is to move. So if we shrink it down here and we can see Lake Mulgrew is very big, you can say, okay, well, I know this spot here, but when I was there as well, I was also in another picnic area. Maybe that other picnic spot could give me a second opportunity. Totally different area, the scene will be very different. So this is what you do. You just grab your finger here and if you hold the pin, can you see the pin jumped up? Now I can grab it, move it all the way out to the Lake Mugra picnic area, drop it down here and to get an accurate point, I can bring it around and we can see there's the picnic area. I'll bring it around in front of the picnic area here. There we go. Can you see now the Milky Way is in the same spot as before, but your view, the picture that you're going to get is going to be totally different. And this is what I teach people when we're out and about photographing the Milky Way. If you have the time, don't just settle on one spot. When you go out there, like I often go out a couple of times a year when the Milky Way season is not on and just do scouting trips and look at the spots and go like, could this be a good place to photograph the Milky Way? This is where night AR comes in because you don't have to wait for nighttime to use night AR. You can be there during the day and say, okay, well, I know looking on the planner app that in September is the best time to come out here. Let's bring up night AR for September and let's see where the Milky Way sets up and go like, beautiful. It looks great from here as well. So I have two different locations, not far apart, 15 minutes drive at tops to get photos of the Milky Way. So I hope this video has given you a better understanding how to use the Night AR function and the Planner app. And remember, you can use both of these together to help plan your Milky Way trip. And if this video has helped you, give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Stay safe, enjoy photographing the Milky Way. And remember, if you've got any comments at all, any questions, leave it in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.